welcome to my channel uh, today we are going to solve one important problem uh, that is a uh, may 2017 question okay may 2017 anna university question using the diff fft algorithm so here you see the question compute the dft of the sequence x of n equal to 1 comma 2 comma 3 comma 4 4 3 2 1 using radix to diff fft algorithm okay so already we solved this problem using dit fft algorithm okay so one time uh, two time uh, they asked that question okay so for same problem using dit fft algorithm one time asked and in uh, may 2017 so for the same problem they are asking using the radix to diff fft algorithm so using diff fft decimation in frequency algorithm here we are going to solve okay so for that uh first we have to uh, draw the butterfly diagram so here we have to draw the eight point butterfly since the given sequence the number of samples in the given x of n is eight okay so that's why first you just draw the eight point butterfly diagram so in the previous video we discussed how to draw the eight point diff uh, fft algorithm i uh, already discussed so i will give if you want to learn the how to draw this eight point butterfly diagram means so you go and learn that video i will give the link in the description box uh, description box and i code also okay so you already you know uh, we how to draw the eight lines uh, then uh, here in diff algorithm the input is in this is the input the input is in natural order the output is in the uh bit reversed order okay so small x small x of 0 x of 1 x of 2 x of 3 up to x of 7 this is the input and uh, capital x of 0 x of 4 2 6 so you see the output is in the bit reversed order okay so already in the previous video and in the uh, dit diagram okay eight point dit diagram also so how to uh, mark this value this index value 0 4 2 6 i already uh, told discussed so you go and check that one okay and uh, so we marked input and output then in diff algorithm you know first we have to three stages in first stage we have to mark the eight point butterfly so eight butterfly means so you see the first line is connected with the fourth output the second input is connected with the fifth output third input is connected with the next seventh output fourth input is connected with the eighth output line okay this is the input uh, input node and this is the output node for this stage similarly we have to cross connect it okay so you just draw so in that eight line in the bottom four line in center we have to multiply the minus 1 multiplier so you just uh, uh, mark one uh, this uh, arrow mark and uh, before uh, that one we have to write minus 1 means this is the scalar multiplier by the value minus 1 okay then the total factor the total factor already you know so where we placed the minus 1 in that line we have to use the total factor so here the four total factor w8 power 0 w8 power 1 w8 power 2 w8 power 3 so already you know the value of these thing w8 power 0 is always 1 w8 power 2 is minus j and w8 power 1 is 0.707 minus j 0.707 that is 1 by root 2 minus j 1 by root 2 W eight power three is minus point seven zero seven minus j point seven zero seven. Okay, minus one by root two minus j one by root two. Okay, this is the thing. Then in the next stage, four four butterfly. Okay, this four point, this four point. You just connect it. And uh, similarly, you see, and uh, in this four line, the uh, bottom two line, we have to use the minus one multiplier. Then in that line, we have to use the total factor. So here you see the total factor. Here is in the order zero W eight power one two three. But here, w8 power zero, w8 power two. Okay, even values only. Similarly, this one and the two two butterfly. You just connect it in the lower line. You just mark minus one with the total factor. You see. Okay. Ah, uh, then ah uh, next one we have to apply the inputs. So you see the input one two three four four three two one. So ah uh, the input in it is a diff algorithm. So that's why no need to calculate the bit reversed order. So directly you can apply the input. So the first line input is one, two, three, four, four, three, two, one. Okay, directly apply. And the next one, we are going to calculate uh, the output in each stage. So first one, we have to calculate the output in the this stage. Okay. So already you know 
in this uh, in the output node we are assuming it as a here one adder is there okay so this adder so what are all the inputs applied to this adder this first line then this pink line okay this blue line and one pink line and in this from the blue line what is the data is coming one is coming so in the pink line what is the data four is coming so one plus four five okay similarly we have to find the answer in this case so in the second line two is coming then from this three is coming so two plus three the answer is five similarly here the three plus two five then the four plus one five so the first four answers are five 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 then this answer is uh, one but here in that uh, line the value four it is multiplied with minus one so four multiplied with minus one minus four so minus four plus one the answer is minus three similarly here uh, the two okay so here uh, minus three so two minus three minus one similarly here three minus two okay three minus two one similarly here four uh, one minus one minus one so four minus one three so the first stage answer calculated then this first stage answer is given to the second stage uh, and in that the in the top of uh, four line there is no multiplier in between the first stage and second stage but in the lower four line there is a twiddle factor is there okay so before apply to that uh, second stage this each data is multiplied with this twiddle factor so this minus 3 okay this value minus 3 is multiplied with w8 power 0 so w8 power 0 is nothing but 1 so the same answer it will come here okay here the minus 1 multiplied with 0.707 minus j0.707 so it converted to minus 0.707 plus j0.707 okay then here uh, 1 multiplied with the minus j minus j Here 3 multiplied with this data you just multiply and find out the write down the answer in this stage okay so we will see the next stage answer in the next diagram uh, here you see uh, in that the second stage answer you see the first stage answer is given okay this is the first stage answer is given to the second stage you see the same 5 okay 5 is given here 5 is given here 5 5 And this minus three multiplied with one one. The minus one multiplied with the total factor minus point seven zero seven plus j point seven zero seven. Then one multiplied with the minus j minus j. Then three multiplied with this data. So three into this point seven zero seven is nothing but one by root two. So minus one by root two minus j one by root two. Okay. So you can write here. Okay. Then we have to calculate as a next stage answer. Okay. So the next stage answer you see uh, in this. Okay, so in this point we have to find out the answer. Here one adder is there. What is the first data coming? It's a five. Uh, what is the another one input? This is also five. So five plus five, ten. Similarly here five uh, plus five, ten. Here you see five is coming here. Then five multiplied with minus one. So five minus five zero. Then similarly in this stage five minus five zero. So ten ten zero zero, it will come as an answer. Okay, this is the thing. And in the next stage, you see here, you see uh, for this line, the minus three is coming here. Then you see in this line, what is the data is here minus j. So minus three minus j. You just write. Okay. So here you see uh, if you want to find the answer in this, so it is somewhat a complex. So that's why. you do separately in a paper and write here okay so you just consider the answer in this point is p okay so i will show the p answer in separately so what is the p the p is nothing but you see this line uh, uh, what is this line minus 0.707 this one okay this is the total factor value uh, this is the answer in this thing so minus 0.707 plus j0.707 added with Uh, this one what is the thing 3 into minus 1 by root 2 minus j 1 by root 2 so you just uh, add these two value so the answer you take it as a p i will show the answer uh, the p answer separately similarly you see this line so this is simple so the minus 3 is coming here then here the minus j multiplied with this minus 1 okay here the minus 1 is there so the minus j multiplied with the minus 1 plus j So minus three plus j. 
Similarly, the answer in this point, it is somewhat complex. You consider as a Q. This point answer is Q. So we will calculate separately and we have to put here. Okay, so this Q is, you see, the minus 0.707 plus 0.707 added with the minus 1 multiplied with the 3 times that of minus 1 by root 2 minus j 1 by root 2. Okay, this is the Q answer. Okay, so I will uh, show the P and Q answer here. Okay, so you see uh, the P answer, the P point answer is, uh, so he, you see, the P value is minus 0.707 plus j 0.707 is added with the 3 times minus 0.707 minus j 0.707. Okay, so here uh, this is the real value minus 0.707. This 3 times minus j 707. So if you are adding these two real data, we will get minus 4 times 0.707. Otherwise, uh, you just uh, 3 multiplied with this thing, you calculate and you add the real part. So this is the real part. Okay, then this is the imaginary part j 0.707. Here minus 3 into 0.707. So the two things are subtracted. So we will get minus 2 into j into 0.707. So the answer is 4 into 0.707 minus 2.828 minus j 1.414. This is the P answer. Similarly, the Q answer you see the minus 0.707 plus j 0.707 minus 3 into this one. So similarly, you just add a real part and imaginary part. We will get the answer like this. Okay. So this P and Q answer you just substitute here. Okay. This is the P value and Q value. Okay. Then so the answer in the second stage we calculated. Okay. Then uh, the second stage answer is given to the third stage. Okay. So here in the first to four line, the top two line, there is no multiplier. So this 10 is coming here. Okay, similarly, this 10 is coming here. But here, zero. So zero multiplied with this total factor, anyway, zero. Okay, then zero multiplied with the W8 power two value, it is also zero. Okay, so 10, 10, zero, zero. Similarly, here, uh, here no multiplier. So minus three minus J is appearing here. Similarly, the P value, the P value is appearing here. And uh, here, uh, minus 3 plus j multiplied with 1. So, so the same answer. Here, that q answer, it should be multiplied with w8 power 2. It is minus j. Okay. So, you just find, you multiply with uh, minus j and you have to write down the answer here. Okay. After that, we have to find out the third stage answer. So, what is the answer here? This answer is this 10 plus 10. So, the answer is 20. Okay. So, we will get the answer. It's a 20. Okay, the first answer is 20. Then the second answer you see the 10 minus 1 multiplied with the 10, so 0. Okay, then the third answer 0 plus 0, 0. Here 0 minus 0, 0. Okay, then here you see uh, the minus 3 minus j uh, added with this p value. Okay, so you do separately. So here you see the x of 1. Okay, the third, this one, the fifth output is x of 1. This x of 1 is calculated as minus 3 minus j plus the p answer. The p answer is minus 2.828 minus j 1.414. So real, real, you just add. Imaginary, imaginary, you just add. So we will get the answer, this one. Similarly, the x of 5. So this x of 5, uh, this minus 3 minus j added with minus 1 multiplied with the p value. Okay, so the x of 5 is minus 3 minus j minus this p answer. So we will get the answer like this. Similarly, the x of 3. So you see x of 3 minus 3 plus j added with this q answer. Okay, so x of uh, uh, 3 minus 3 plus j added with the q value. This is the uh, q value. So this is the answer. Similarly, uh, x of 7 is calculated as that value. Uh, minus of that one, we will get the answer x of 7. Okay, so these are all the answers obtained in the butterfly diagram. Okay, then we have to rearrange. Okay, here the output we got it in diff algorithm is the bit reversed order. Okay, so you have to rearrange it. So the capital x of k, it can be written as the first one is x of 0. What is the x of 0 value? It is 20. So you see the capital x of k is this is x of 0, 20. 
next x of 1 so here we calculate you see x of 1 is minus 0.828 minus 2.414j okay uh, then uh, x of 2 so you see x of 2 is 0 x of 4 is also 0 x of 6 is also 0 okay uh, so we have to write it in order so this is the x of k answer so the same answer we got it uh, for that problem that is using det algorithm we solved the same problem 1 comma 2 comma 3 comma 4 4 3 2 1 in det algorithm also the same answer we got it okay and already i told how to check uh, this dft answer i told that is the first answer in that eight point thing the first answer is 20 what is this first answer the first answer is nothing but a addition of the given x of n value so all sample you just add 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 4 plus 3 plus 2 1 if you are adding we will get the answer is 20 this is the first answer and except this first answer you count how many datas uh, seven data so in that seven data you just locate the center okay so 1 2 3 1 2 3 you leave it this zero is a center value so uh, based on the center you just fold it okay first data you just leave it except the first data there are seven output is that in that seven output you place the center value this zero is a center value in the center value uh, using the center you just flip it okay or you take mirror image so mirror image means these two data it will overlap and zero and zero it will overlap and this value overlap so these values are must be complex conjugate for any dft answer for any dft problem this property it will work okay so you see these two answers minus 0.172 minus j.141 so here you see minus 0.172 plus j.414 so the answer is correct similarly next you check the data 00 0 complex conjugate 0 only then you see these two data minus 5.828 Minus J two point four one four minus five point eight eight plus J. Okay, the minus J is converted to plus J. So the same magnitude with uh, that one. Okay, this is also the complex conjugate answer. Okay, so we will get the uh, answer. This answer is correct. Okay, in order to check the answer is correct or not for any DFT problem, it will give this property. The first answer is the addition of our given uh, x of n value. Except this. Uh, you take the remaining point in that you locate the center value about the center value if you are you just fold it that two to folded data it will give the complex conjugate answer means your answer is correct okay so this is the way to check uh, the given problem the given uh, that is our answer is correct or not okay so this is the 8 point dft problem okay so in the next video uh we can solve uh, one more uh, nine university problem using the side point dft okay so this uh, uh, dit dit algorithm and diff algorithm problem is a very important problem in this unit okay uh, so uh, study this problem okay so thanks for watching my channel and please subscribe my channel for more videos thank you